they said that you had abandoned him as a baby. I did not abandon my child. You'll be 50 today. Who is it? Uh, your wife tells me you think you're mildly depressed. Well, I got the sack. I'm unemployed. Yes, but it wasn't your fault, was it? That's why I'm depressed. This is Martin Sixsmith, used to be the BBC's man in Moscow, became a spin doctor for the government, and it all went a bit tits up. I always say, you know, if you shovel shit for long enough, eventually you're going to get some on your shoes. <laughs> yes, you got it on your head. How do you manage that? Oh. <laughs> I know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager, and she's kept it secret for 50 years. And what you're talking about uh, would be what they call a human interest story, and that's... I don't do those. Why not? You think I should do a human interest story? Hello. You must be Philomena. I think what they did to you was evil. I don't like that word. No, no, evil's good. Story-wise, I mean. I was going to ask you if it would be possible not to use my real name when you write the story. What about Anne? Anne Boleyn. That's a lovely name. Oh, somebody had that. Think, we're going to have to use your real name, Philomena. I'd feel more comfortable if I could speak to Philomena in private. You're a journalist. Well, I used to be. Martin's a Roman Catholic. Well, no, I used to be. There are avenues we can pursue in America. I'm getting the royal treatment, Martin. I feel like the Pope. Champagne or box fizz? Oh, no, thank you. It's free. Oh, I, I see. You have to pay for everything on Ryanair. Look at the view. Wow. I only want to know if he's all right. What if he died in Vietnam? Or what if he was obese? What well, nothing makes you think he'd be obese? Because of the size of the portions. I met him. Where? At the White House. Did you remember anything he said? Hello. 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 Well, he might have been high. <laughs> oh, Martin. I just want to talk to you about my son. He was taken from me. And I've been looking for him ever since. Why would God bestow upon us a sexual desire that he then wants us to resist? The thing is, I didn't even know I had a clitoris, Martin. Right. 